Thomas Daniel and today we are now going to do question 4 of step paper 1 2019. So the first part on this question is extremely important. So you see here this is a sum of a number and number times the square root of 2. Just squaring and comparing terms can give us 1 plus the square root of 2 m equals to 1 and equals to 1. This number is a similar ratio and crops up very very frequently in the geometry of an octagon. Right, part 2. Given that the equation fx equals to 0 has 4 real roots. So let's see, f of x could be x minus alpha, x minus beta, x minus gamma, x minus delta, which can equal x squared minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta. If you understood the roots of polynomials chapter in further maths, this will sound familiar to you. So since alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta equals to zero from the coefficient of x cubed it follows that alpha plus beta equals to minus gamma plus delta so this means that pq equals to minus 2 sp minus q equals to negative 12 so this means that p plus q minus s squared equals 2 negative 10 so p plus q equals to s squared minus 10 and so p plus q squared e equals to s squared minus 10 squared and p minus q squared equals to p plus q squared minus 4pq equals to 12 over s squared to get an equation in s only s squared equals to s squared minus 10 squared plus 8s squared minus 144 equals to 0 and this only has real roots right and find the three possible values of s squared. So we are now going to substitute s squared minus 10. So we will now have s squared minus 10 q plus 10 s squared minus 10 squared plus 8 s squared minus 10 minus 64 equals to 0. Now let this be u. And if you can find one factor, you can just solve this into your calculator. And the calculator tells me it's u minus 2, u plus 4, u plus 8 equals to 0. This is an operation that can be done in any scientific calculator, whether it be a class quiz or a NEPEM. The two calculators I mainly use. So, s squared minus 10 equals to 2 minus 4 or minus 8. Or s squared equals to 12, 6 or 2. Use the smallest on these values of s squared to solve completely the equation f of x is equal to 0. So, this means that f of x equals 2, and you look up here, hold on a second, my mouse, here x squared plus sx plus p, x squared plus sx minus q, right, so p plus q, right, so this means that it's x squared plus x root 2 minus 4 minus 3 root 2, x squared minus x root 2 minus 4 plus 3 root 2 equals to 0 if we solve the p and q and s and t properly. So if you use the quadratic formula, x equals to negative plus minus root 2 plus or minus the square root of 18 plus 12 root 2 over 2. Maybe there should be a sign or a double plus minus because all of our solutions are valid. Right. So the question asks to simplify as much as possible. So we would have, since 18 plus 12 root 2 is just, you know, 1, 3 plus 2 root 2 in disguise. So you have root plus or minus root 2 plus or minus root 6 root 2 plus or minus 1 over 2. Perfect. So actually there's a triple plus minus because now you are, all 8 solutions are valid. So x equals to negative root 2 plus root 6 actually four of them are valid so these would be plus minus root 6 plus or minus 2 root 3 all right so we're done with the step video well see you in another step video and don't forget to like and subscribe and look up off your geometry if you will